Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and we're going to take a look at what's on my Mac. A lot of you have requested that I show you what I actually use to record and what I use every day, so I thought I'd go ahead and do that. I've showed what's on my iPhone and iPad and uh, Windows Phone 7 and other devices, so I thought I'd go ahead and show you what's on my Mac. So here you can see I have the default background. You know, I don't change that a whole lot because I'm not looking at the background a whole lot, but once in a while I'll change that up a little bit. Uh, I found some great applications on the App Store that actually have some really great backgrounds and, and wallpapers, so I use those from time to time. But as you can see, I'm actually recording this video with ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is a great application that a lot of people on YouTube use, and what it does is record the screen and uh, actually record audio and you can set all sorts of things. And then it has a built-in editor at the end that does a great job at editing. Now, most of the time I use other applications to edit, uh, and I'll talk about those in a moment. But here you can see along my dock, I don't have a whole lot, and that's because I like to have it nice and clean, uh, just as my desktop is. So I have a couple folders, everything else, which is kind of what Apple does when you in they include some software. They just say everything else. So, you know, I thought that was neat, created a folder like that. And then my video and audio clips. So that's where I put the audio like I'm recording now. Uh, if I'm recording that, I'll save it and then dump it into this file. I'm actually recording using an external mic. Uh, it's actually a Heil PR40, and I use that along with GarageBand. And uh, actually, I'm using a Blue Icicle right now, but I'll be using something else soon in the future. And it records to GarageBand. I export the file, place it in here, and then when it's time, I sync it up with the video. So that's what I use for that. I'm using ScreenFlow, like I said. So here we have the Launchpad, Safari, Mail, Twitter, iTunes, System Preferences, and just my Documents, Downloads, and Trash. So let's go into the Finder. Let's go to my Applications. I'm not going to use the Launchpad, but because for whatever reason, it's a little bit slow with the screen recording, and I'm not sure why that is. But I wanted to let you know the actual Mac I use, a lot of you ask specifically what I use. I'm actually using a 15-inch MacBook Pro, 2 gigahertz quad-core i7. I have 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM in it, along with a 256 gigabyte solid-state drive uh, that I, I got more recently when I had a hard drive crash not too long ago. Uh, it's actually quite fast and works really great for what I'm doing here. So. I, I replaced an iMac that I had previously. Uh, they had a Core 2 Duo in it, and it is a huge world of difference as far as speed goes. So here you can see all the different applications. And in fact, Photoshop Elements 10, uh, I had... Uh, this is actually a trial. I had thought of using, I've, I'd used Elements in the past. I really don't have the need to use the more expensive version. And since I purchase all my software, uh, it's really expensive to get the newer or, or larger more more expensive real Photoshop so I don't actually do that so I was playing around with elements 10 I'm not sure that I'm gonna buy it uh, because I use pixel pixelmator and I'm not sure that I need to use anything else so if I go down here uh, you'll see that I have pixelmator right here and it works great it's better in many ways it's faster by quite a bit at time and uh, it works great. Well, let's go through all my apps so we don't spend all day here. Amazon MP3 Downloader for when you buy Amazon MP3s. Aperture, great application to modify photos. Uh, it's $80 on the App Store. Good, app, uh, good, good application. Great for that. You can see here's the App Store. App Delete Lite. It deletes the apps. It actually, you know, most of the time things are in packages here on the Mac. So uh, this application is in a package you can control click or right click and you've got show package contents and it will actually have contents as you can see here and, and it goes deeper and those are all in a specific spot right here but the thing is is sometimes it places things in different folders within your library folder and what app delete does is go and goes and traces where that is and helps you delete that so it works really well app shelf keeps keeps track of a lot of different applications that I've already had uh, that I buy. I tend to buy bundles that, that come with a lot of different things at once. So uh, you can see some of the applications like Delicious Library 2, Disk Drill. Uh, well, there's some others in here uh, further on down, Banner Zest Pro. Those all came in bundles that I bought for around $50 when they come out, and I've bought them over the years. 
Uh, that's more the Banners S Pro is from the more recent uh, bundle along with Disk Drill as well. And App Shelf keeps track of all those licenses. So uh, I won't open that for that sake. But I have all these applications. These are Banner Zest. You know, I haven't used them a whole lot, but they're here. And when I want to do something with them, they're here. So I have them. Uh, Blast, don't really use. It was in a bundle, but it's there. Uh, Caffeine, I use all the time. Caffeine is this little cup up here. Uh, you click it, the computer stays awake, doesn't go to sleep. Real simple app, but works great and does a good job. Uh, it what it's supposed to do simple free and uh, definitely recommend downloading it so here we have compressor it's part of the final cut suite or used to be and now it's separate along with final cut pro 10 and motion which i have down here a little bit further you can see motions right here i use final cut pro 10 the most of anything because i'm editing these videos usually in final cut pro 10 and I've used previous versions, Final Cut Pro 6 and 7, and they're great applications. But for what I do, Final Cut Pro 10 is faster. Uh, 6 and 7, I know how to use well. In fact, uh, I, I have some Larry Jordan training from that many hours. I, I like Final Cut Pro 6 and 7 very much, but Final Cut Pro 10 uses all the processor cores and works really fast, 64-bit. And for the style of editing I do, uh, it's quite good. It lacks a couple things. They'll add eventually. But for me, I think it's a great application. And I've gone over that in a review before. Uh, one thing that I would highly recommend for any of you getting different things for Christmas or, or presents in general or DVDs and movies is Delicious Library. So let me go ahead and open Delicious Library. We'll take a quick look at it. And uh, we'll update later. So this keeps track of movies and video games uh, my library is not up to date totally but here's my video game library it says 211 it's actually a little bit more than that uh, for many many years I've, i'm a big video game nut i've had video games for many years many different consoles and so these are kind of a list of what i've got and i could go on and on and on uh, but that's what it does it keeps track of things should i want my father to borrow something i could say uh half-life 2 drag this over here it says he's using it uh, when I want to return it I think it's right click uh, check it in now it's returned so you can kind of have your own little uh, video rental store if you will uh, your video rental store here you can keep track of music everything else it's not fully updated on my part though we'll quit out of that definitely recommend that application in fact when I started using a Mac a long time ago that was probably one of the first applications uh, that I really wanted because I could keep track of everything really well and I've used it for a very long time great application cyberduck FTP application that's great Dropbox if you don't know what Dropbox is go check it out it's free unless you want more storage but free great stuff definitely worth checking out here we have duplicate annihilator uh, that's a pretty inexpensive application but what it does is actually look through your iTunes or not iTunes your iPhoto library look for duplicates and tags them as a duplicate and then allows you to easily find them and delete them Elgato video capture if you saw the uh, video where I did an Xbox update of the dashboard video that's how i did it i used the elgato video capture which uses a component or a rather a composite or s video input and allows me to record video off of anything via that it's an extra dongle with an extra program growl uh, i use quite a bit now i don't i'm not going to go through everything because i don't use everything here just because it's on here doesn't mean i constantly use it and i may have gotten it through a bundle or whatever so this is growl growl is a notification application real simple but useful when something changes on your system or elsewhere it will pop up a notification here and just let you know what's going on it has a lot of different preferences and is worth checking out for sure iWork, you know, I don't do a lot of applications as far as that, that involve iWork, but I use Pages quite a bit and Keynote from time to time. Numbers, not so much, but I've had them for a while. They are like my version of Office. You can export into Office documents and it's a lot less money than Office. So I use iWork instead. Mac Pilot is is all about different tweaks and things to the operating system that you could do through the terminal but this makes it a lot more simple so that's a neat application 
One of the most used applications also I use is MoneyWell. MoneyWell is a, I'm not going to open it because it's got my finances in it, but basically MoneyWell keeps track of finances. It will sync along with an iPhone. They have an iPhone app and you can keep track of it. And I use that as my checkbook. So say you have a hundred dollars, you spend five, you can sync it. It syncs to Dropbox. When I come to my computer, I open it here and it shows that I have $95. It works really well. It's a great application, and I got it in a bundle some time ago, and I've used it ever since, and I like it a lot. Motion. Motion I created my Zolotech intro with, and some of the animations you see in my videos are actually created in Motion. So I created some of the logo in Pixelmator, or I created the, the logo in Pixelmator, then moved parts of it around in Motion to create the full logo, then actually edited it, with sounds in iMovie, then exported it to Final Cut. And that's where you get all those different things. Uh, I don't know why I went through iMovie. It's just, as far as Final Cut, or as far as Final Cut goes, and sounds, you know, I find it easier in iMovie for some reason. As far as the sounds go, it's just quicker, as far as if that's, it lets you just focus on those things. So, I could do it in Final Cut, but I did it in iMovie, as far as the logo goes, and then I use it in Final Cut. Picturesque, uh, I got in a bundle, but is another great application. Real simple, adds some nice effects to your photos. Uh, Skitch, I use all the time. And Skitch just came out for iPad. Skitch allows me to screen capture and does a great job. It's definitely worth checking out. It's free in the App Store and is a great, great application. Spotify is free. It's music. Uh, Steam for games. Stuff at Expander I don't use too much unless I need to unzip or zip something. Uh, it's just got a nice interface. And Text Expander. Text Expander I use all the time as well. When you are putting videos on YouTube, you have to create a lot of descriptions and things like that. And it allows me to autofill. So you can set up different things. If I type a specific word, for example, uh, I can type. Let, in fact, let me show you. Here's text edit. And... Here's my text editing. Uh, what I can do is simply type app with two A's and it auto fills. And you can see that's where I have all of my links. So I don't have to type that every time I can, or cut and paste. I can just type app with two A's and it auto fills. Awesome application. Definitely worth checking out and uh, worth every penny in my opinion. Thumbnail Annihilator is similar to the Duplicate Annihilator. Same company, same application. It just eliminates thumbnails. So if thumbnails are created of your pictures in iPhoto, it will find them and, and label it as a thumbnail. And that's really all it does. The last two applications we'll take a look at are VMware Fusion, which allows me to run Windows on here. So if I need to do a Windows review or check out Windows Phone 7 with Zune Player, which Zune Player is my absolute favorite. I wish it'd come to Mac, but it's not. And uh, I know there's an, an application to sync your Windows Phone. I really like the Zune Player instead of iTunes, but it's not on, on Mac, so I have to use iTunes. Uh, but I use VMware Fusion for that. And then I've reviewed this application, WinX HD DVD or HD Video Converter for Mac. Uh, is a really nice video converter program. Really simple, uses all of your cores and memory, and is very fast and does a good job. Uh, so those are kind of, in a nutshell, this game too, I got for a dollar. Good game for the, for the price. I think it's more about $7 now, uh, but when I got it, it was on sale. Uh, overall, that's really what I have on here. Uh, Crash Plan is a backup. I have some other things here and there, but I really don't use much of anything really except for Safari, Mail, and Final Cut Pro 10 because I'm in this the most, editing and doing those sorts of things. So really that's what I do. Final Cut Pro, Pixelmator, and then the other things here and there. Uh, as far as that goes. So if you have any questions about anything or any suggestions, uh, please go ahead and place them in the comments below. I would love to hear what you have to say or your comments, any suggestions. Uh, it's welcoming me to growl. I've been in here before, so I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, but I've been using a Mac for many years, and that's kind of what I've narrowed my workflow down to just because that's what I focus on as videos quite a bit. So if you have any suggestions, like I said, please go ahead and feel free to comment below and let me know what you think about that or what, what applications you would recommend that maybe you didn't see here. 
other than that, as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.